story of Appar Nayanar, one of the great devotees of Lord Shiva. Appar is one of the great devotees of Lord Shiva who took a name in the book of Periya Puranam written by Sai Kirar and amongst the 63 Nayanars. Appar's childhood name was Tirunavakarasar. He was born in a Balalar family in a village called Tiruvarur in Tamil Nadu. His only sister, Tilagavadiyar, was to be betrothed to a military commander who later died in a war. Tilagavadiyar was also a great devotee of Lord Shiva from an early age. And Tilagavati decided to end her life. Sister, please don't leave me alone. Sorry, brother. I realized my mistake. From now on, it's my duty to bring you up as a good man. Actually, Appar is regarded as the divine arrival of Saint Vagisar, one of Lord Shiva's devotees. The following is Vagisar's story. One day, Ravana decided to impress Shiva with his power. So he approached Mount Kailasa with his ten hands. When he did so, Oh my lord, Kailasa is trembling. Do something. Don't worry, my dear. Seeing this, Lord Shiva pressed the mountain with his right toe. This gave an adverse effect on the mountain. At this point, Ah, oh, my hands are paining. Please forgive me, my lord. Ravana shouted out of pain for some days. Until one day, a saint performing a penance got irritated. So he went to Ravana and told him to praise the lord using music. So he started doing as instructed. The saint is none other than Vagi, sir. After Ravana had finished singing, Lord Shiva and Parvati blessed him. Ravana, henceforth you shall be called Ravaneshwaran. You shall be the most powerful ruler of Lanka. Then, turning to Saint Vagi sir, Lord Shiva asked, Vagi sir, why did you interfere Ravana with your idea? My lord, I was immensely disturbed when he shouted. So, I interfered, my lord. As you missed to complete your penance, you will be born in the name of Tirunavakarasar, as per your wish, my lord. Even though Tilagavadiyar told Tirunavakarasar about the miracles of Lord Shiva, he was interested in Jainism and hated Shaivism. So he left home and joined the Jain monastery. His sister, however, couldn't stop him from going. She prayed all days and nights to Lord Shiva in getting her brother back to Shaivism. After many years, when Trinavakarasar was 60 years old, he had a very painful stomachache. Many doctors tried but failed to cure it. When a Jain asked him if he had any relatives, he then only remembered his sister Tilagavatiyar and asked the Jain to call her to the monastery. When the Jain called her, No, I can't enter the Jain monastery. Ask my brother to come here. Ah, oh, Tilagavati, my stomach is paining. Do something. Why did you leave Saivism? See, the Lord has punished you. Come with me. So they headed to the Shiva temple. There, Tilagavatiyar gave Tirunavakarasar the holy ash. Soon he was all right. He then realized his mistake. He switched to Shaivism again. He also served for Shaivism and got a name for his devotion in the book of Periyapurana. He also got his name changed to Appar.